on. You the bowl. You the big old bowl. I know, but I got the food. I got the food. You can be the bowl, but I got the food. And that means I got the bull by the horns, except the bull doesn't have no horns. The bull don't have no horns. Want some of that? You feeling better than you did yesterday? Huh? You feeling better than you did yesterday? Yeah? We won't be rubbing you on the head, okay? We can rub you under the chin, though. How about that? Rastus feels better than he did yesterday. Yesterday and the day before, he had scours. And we gave him some, I think it was tetramycin pill. It's called scour pill. And it just stopped him right up. It did, it stopped him right up. That's the Rasty Bear. We have some jealous girls over here. Actually, we won't say that they've already had their allotment of hay and they've had grain. They're just a little bit jealous of the little baby. Hey, Rastus. Hey, Rastus. I have sugars. I have sugars. No, not till you eat your grain now. So this is our little Dexter. Uh, he's an Irish Dexter Jersey cross. And he's a little over three months old. And he's going to be the big old bull that breeds those two girls. <laughs> Once he grows up a little bit. And he's getting more of this on me and the floor than he is in his mouth, I think. I can't rub his nose and I want to rub his nose. If you scratch a bull on the forehead, They'll learn that that feels good, and when you meet them out in the pasture, they're going to want you to do that, and they're going to come at you with their head down. Once they get their head down, they get into a different mentality. <laughs> being pushy and belligerent. So, you can always scratch them under the chin, down the neck, behind the ears. But that's about it. And he sure would like for me to scratch his forehead, but I can't do it. No. Can't do that. It's a little bit of grain. And then he gets a little bit of scratching. I think I'm five foot nine still. And that's him at his weathers. He's about 34 inches tall. 32 to four, 34 inches tall at his weathers. I think I'm gonna have to go get Miss Dixie some grain because she's getting all upset. So I'm gonna put this in the cameraman's hand for a minute. I'll be right back, Rastus. Don't need Dixie coming through the rail on us. Dixie and Miss Pearl have already had one ration of fermented grain, but as you remember, Dixie likes to eat out of a spoon. Rasty Bear. See how handleable he is. I'm going to lean over his shoulders, see if I can pick up his foot without him falling over. There we go. Sometimes when I pick up his foot, he falls over. He says he doesn't have very good balance. You like that food, Restus? That's about as close as I want you, bull boy. Yes. Restus! Mama's got the candy. Restus! Oh my goodness, Mama's got it now. Mama's got it now. He's just a little guy. If I measure his legs, they're nine. He's got about 18 inch legs. <laughs> Maybe 18 inches. That would be pushing it. They might be 17 inches tall. 
So he's feeling a lot better. I was worried about him yesterday and the day before. Anytime a calf gets scours, you're, you're looking at trouble if you don't catch it right away. Now Miss Dixie's already finished with hers again. And she wants what Rastus has. She gets pretty fussy if she doesn't get what she wants. I don't know why we didn't ever spoil her. Restless does not want me sharing his food with. Now, Miss Pearl, Miss Pearl, that that's that wall is there for a reason. Okay. All right. A little bit for you and a little bit for your mama. You piggy, piggy, piggy. Piggy, no, piggy. I see what she's doing. I see her. She gave them my food. Okay, I still have goats to milk, Rastus. Let me see what we can do here. You give me sugars? You give me sugars? You give me sugars? Rasty. Rasty. Scratches, scratches, scratches. Scratches. I'll have to put that away. Scratches. Rastus, scratches. Scratches, yes, yeah, scratches. Oh, we like scratches. We like scratches. Now scratches. Scratches, oh, scratches. Rastus, 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 scratches. He likes that. Missy Pearl likes it too. She's still a sweetheart. She's just a big girl though. Her mama, sometimes has remnants of the fussy red-headed witch that came here. Come here, Missy Pearl. Come here, Missy Pearl. I know, you still like your scratches too, don't you? You do. Hey, Dixie. Hey, Dixie. What are you doing, girl? What are you doing? I have to stand way up tall to see your face, don't I? Well, that wasn't very nice of her, was it? Hi, baby girl. Hi, baby girl. That's our girls and our boy. I'll get you some for your bed now, Rastus. So this is Dixie. Dixie is nursing a seven-month-old calf. She has decided not to wean. And we're not too worried about it because they're kind of uh, naturally doing what they do. But you might want to notice the condition that Dixie's in. A lot of times you'll see when a cow has a calf that's nursing too much on her, they get really, really poor. But you'll notice her belly's quite nice. Her neck is all meat. There's no uh, loose skin hanging off of it. And then you take a look at her calf and the <clears throat> additional rolls of skin under her neck and the belly that's kind of out between her legs there. Neither one of them are hurting too bad. Miss Pearl, she nurses on her mama probably twice a day. She goes out and free ranges with her and then they come back in and get their grain and their hay. But I just, I've been pretty impressed with the way Dixie has held up her condition is staying nice and and healthy. She's been a really good mama. Her bag's not very big, but you can see where that baby's nursing on her pretty consistently. And she has really, really kept her condition well. We're going into winter now, and this is a good way to have them. Wait a minute. Kitty, kitty. Chickens don't drink milk. Well, I called kitty, kitty, and those two brown cats came too, so I just figured they were cats. Yeah. 
I guess chickens do drink milk. Fresh goat milk anyway. That's pretty good stuff. That one is Judy Judy. She's our little ring neck bird. She got stuck in the egg and her neck got all twisted. She's almost almost two years old now. She's done just fine. She looks a little deformed, but she gets around just fine. Now only the feathered cats are left drinking milk. Having a hand party, aren't you? <laughs> Their afternoon milk. Everybody's going to have a full crop before they go to bed tonight. <laughs>